Today on this 2010 Dodge Nitro, we're going to install a brake controller, part number 90885 from Takancha. This is the Prodigy P2 brake controller. And to install this, we're going to use part number ETBC7. First thing we're going to do is going to take the bracket from the ETBC7 kit. We're going to install that onto the bracket that's on the hitch. The next step is to go ahead and do some partial assembly on the seven pole itself. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and add the gray cable, comes with the kit, and we'll hook it up to our seven pole connector. What we're going to do is actually just wind this up in electric tape and leave our leads out that we need. We'll leave our four poles sticking out and we're going to need our brake wire, which is going to be blue, and our black wire for 12 volt power supply. And then we'll just wrap up our purple and white wire. Our white wire is going to direct us to the frame for ground. And then the purple wire is going to be for reverse lights if it's ever needed. And to our black and blue wires, we're going to install a gray cable which has the black and white wires inside of it. What we're going to do is just peel away the gray sheath, and strip our wires back and make our connection. Black to black and white to blue. Cover those up with some electric tape. Next we'll go ahead and install the loom along the wires like this. Let's go ahead and mount the seven pole to the bracket now. Now let's go ahead and connect the two four poles together and pull this packet full of dielectric grease to protect it, and we'll make a solid connection out of it. We'll use a zip tie to secure it together. And we'll cover it with some tape. Okay, now let's take our gray cable, and let's just start routing it to the front of the vehicle up by the engine compartment. And we want to stay away from anything moving, such as suspension components, or anything hot like the exhaust. We'll take a white ground wire with the ring terminal, and we'll go ahead and ground that to the body and we'll use this cross beam right here. We'll go ahead and pull up a wire now, make sure it stays away from anything moving like the suspension or steering components as well. All right, now we're gonna take our wire. We're just gonna just pull it off to the side and just let it be for now. Next, we'll go ahead and install the 40 amp circuit breaker. I think we'll install our circuit breaker in this spot right here. And we'll have to add one eventually so we'll have relief room right over here. All right, let's take our cable and then see how much length we need to go to the positive side of the battery. Once we find that, we'll go ahead and cut it. And our excess wire here, we're gonna use later, so don't throw this away. Now we'll take this wire that we just cut and we'll pull back the sheath on it because we only need to use the black wire inside of it or the 12 volt power supply. Or white wire inside will actually be ran into the inside of the vehicle to the blue wire on the brake controller. And we'll go ahead and deal with the black wire for now. We'll go ahead and cut the wire, we'll add some ring terminals to it, and connect it to our circuit breaker. Now our lead going out to the 12 volt power supply out back to the seven pole is gonna be hooked to the silver post. And then the copper post will always go to the battery. All right, on the other end of the wire, let's go ahead and add one of the larger ring terminals to it so it can connect up to the positive side of the battery. We'll actually make all our connections to the battery is one of the last things we do. So we'll just set this aside for now. Let's go back to our circuit breaker and we'll go ahead and tighten down those studs. Okay, now I'll start working with the white wire. We'll go ahead and find an entry point so we get from the outside to the inside of the cabin. If you look right next to the brake booster here, you can see like a rubber plug right here. You can go ahead and pull that out, but it does come out rather easily. And we have full access to the interior. So what we're going to do with this is go ahead and make a slit in it so we can pass our wires through. Take a white wire, we'll go ahead and poke it through. And then go to the inside. Alright, now we're not going to reinstall the grommet because actually we have two more wires passed through. So we'll just leave it just like this for now. We've installed the brake controller, now let's go ahead and connect the blue wire from the brake controller up to that white wire we ran inside earlier. And cut it to length and then we'll go ahead and connect it together with one of the butt connectors. Of 
We got that wire connected. Now while we're here, let's go ahead and connect our red wire to the cold side of a brake switch. What we're gonna to do is follow the brake pedal up till we find a switch and find the wires and we'll have to test to see which one turns on when you hit the brake pedal. Let's go ahead and test our wire harness for the right signal. So it looks like a white wire with green stripe is the signal we want. All right, so we'll take our scotch lock, comes with the ETBC7 kit, and we'll slide it over the wire. Now I'll take a red wire, slide it right next to it, and then we'll squeeze down on it and make the connection. All right, let's go take our excess wire that we removed before up front. We'll go ahead and take it. We'll poke it through the hole in the firewall, push it out to the battery. So we'll connect these two wires up color for color to the brake controller wires. All right, we'll go ahead and tape these up and go ahead and snug up everything underneath the dash, make sure it's safe and secure out of the way. Okay, we're done underneath the dash. Now let's go ahead and out underneath the hood and make our connection to the battery. All right, let's go ahead and take our wire we pushed through and we'll put it back through the grommet. Pull it on through and we'll reinstall the grommet at that point. When we run our lead to the battery, we need to install a circuit breaker. Like we was talking about a little bit earlier, and we're gonna install it right next to our first one we installed. So same thing as before, we'll go ahead and run our wire through a circuit breaker to get our distance that we need, and we'll cut off our length to the positive side of the battery. Same as before, we'll go ahead and strip back the sheath as well, as far back as we need to. We'll put our white wire to the side, and with our black wire, we'll run through a circuit breaker. So our silver post will go to the brake controller, and the other half of the wire will go up to the battery. Now our white wire, we'll just go ahead and run this directly to the negative on our battery for ground. So we'll start off by removing the negative terminal and attaching the white wire to that. Let's leave it alone for now. Let's go start working with the positive terminal. Power supply to the braking curler. All you need to do now is go ahead and test it and make sure everything's working fine. And with that, that'll finish your install. For part number 90885 and the ETBC7 install kit.